Hey guys, it's uh, Friday of the first week of cutting. So I thought about it and I'm pretty much going to treat this as a pre-cut week. Uh, just kind of like how I did it with the first week of my first cut. So my real cut will start next week and that's when I'm going to be doing the fasted cardio and everything. But today is the deadlift day and I've got about 370 loaded up here. I'm thinking of doing a 5x5 sumo. But we'll see. My shoulder is actually hurting a lot right now, so I might have to take it easy. But again, we'll see. is rushing to my head right now and I can feel the pre-workout in my ears. Ugh. They're like ringing in my ear. Oh, okay, that was a lot heavier than I thought. So three by three. No, I think I'm gonna do three sets of five here. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're all finished with the heavy sets of deadlifts and now we're moving on to a Really good deadlift accessory that I like to do. It honestly really helps with the amount of explosive power you can generate. So this is a paused deadlift and pretty much it's exactly like how you would treat uh, like a pause bench for example. But except for the pause bench, you know, you're, you're taking the eccentric motion and you're pausing there. Here you're going to pause on the concentric motion and while that's opposite the mentality of really driving hard and exploding and pushing your hips through. Um, so that mentality stays the same. So if you guys need help with getting your deadlift a bit stronger, this is something I recommend doing uh, on your deadlift day, uh, maybe even on your back day, uh, wherever the case may be, whatever is comfortable for you. But this exercise is a great tool to get better at the deadlift. So what you want to do, set up normally, however you set up, uh, either sumo or conventional, you can do this either way. And what you're going to want to do is pause about, you know, roughly two or three inches below your kneecap. Pause there for however long you like. Personally, I don't like pausing too long, but you know, that's sort of subjective. The longer you pause, the harder it's going to be and all that. So all you're going to do is pause right below the kneecap, and then explode through, like this. So as you can see, I tried to draw as much force and load in my hamstrings as much as I could so that I could explode my glutes forward to complete the deadlift. So here it is again. So, with this exercise, you know, don't go too heavy, but also don't go too light. You do want to have it moderate, let's say like an RP7 or 8, maybe even a 6 uh, if you're super gassed on that day. But in any case, for sets and reps, pretty much treat it the same way you would treat uh, doing accessory for the bench. So like a pause bench press, for example, go for like, you know, moderately high rep range, anywhere between 8 and 12 and low to moderate set range, so anywhere between two and four. All right, let's finish this out.
I was supposed to do hip thrusts next, but I'm too lazy, so I'm going to do some of these uh, glute pushback, press back, however you want to call it, glute kickback, and we're going to do it with this low row here, with this little ankle attachment. Uh, yeah, this exercise is a little bit awkward if you don't have something to brace in front of you, uh, so I'm just going to make do with what I have in front of me, take from there. You kind of want your leg to be sort of in line with the cable on this. You don't want to be like super over to the side, one side or the other. You kind of want to have a nice straight path. And just kick straight back like this. Really good. 
All right, nice. So we're finishing out our leg workout with calf raises. And luckily on this leg press, there's a little bit of a slant. So you can actually get really nice flexion and extension here. Since you can sort of get your foot back like that and really feel the stretch on your calf. So I'm really glad that that's just not a completely flat plate and it has that little slant, little that little slope. So with calf training, yeah. well, actually, I need to go Lower. back pretty far uh, because I don't want to mm. pop yeah. out the stack. But yeah, so with calf training, I do like to alternate between really high rep ranges with a sort of lighter weight and really focusing on the squeeze and sort of getting that time under tension and also lower rep ranges focusing more on the weight and the amount that I'm pushing. So today is one of those lower rep range days. So we're gonna go pretty heavy. Slide my feet down. And so you can kind of see that my feet are pushed back quite far and I can actually get really nice contractions of my calves. And I'm not pause repping or anything like that. I'm really just focusing on pushing as much weight as I possibly can. And uh, just pretty much three more sets of this for me. And that'll be it for the leg day. Whew.